What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about heat. We have a Buick 2015 Encore here. Um, it doesn't matter which Buick you have. A few things you wanna check if your heat doesn't work and it should be very simple to check, okay? Just the basic. After that, you're gonna, hit the, have, you're gonna have to hit the mechanic and see what they can discover. But before that, why not check a few things yourself and uh, maybe you get lucky. Anyways. Let's get this video started and let's go under the hood. To, to start off, first things first, okay? Uh, before your engine even gets warm or hot, what I want you guys to do is first thing first, I want you guys to uh, locate the cooling box, a reserve, reservoir, expansion tank. Those are the names for this guy. So usually it'll tell you, uh, it'll look something like this. It'll have lines connected to it. And those lines will go to the, like the radiator or the cooling system. See these pipes? They're going everywhere. So make sure your antifreeze is, uh, this one's a little bit low. It should be up to here. Once the pressure builds, it's going to probably push it down. And what you want to do is you want to get the same antifreeze. If, if you don't see nothing in this bottle, like you can see this one clearly here. If you, if some of the vehicles you can't really see nothing, you can put a light behind it and look at it. If it's in a tight spot, you can just zoom the light and you will see. So this got to be full. Even if this is right now, I, I have no issues with this being uh, this low because it's still going to give us heat. But it can't be that there's nothing in here and the lines are empty because the engine heats uh, this antifreeze up. And this antifreeze then travels inside your vehicle uh, heater core here here's the the lines so but once your engine is nice and hot both of these lines this one back over here this one's kind of leaking right here i can see a little bit so uh what you want to do is you want to open this guy up sometimes these are hard to open but you should open this up make sure it's not hot make sure it's not under the pressure because if it's under the pressure so this is going to be a little bit complicated i'm, I'm trying to yank it up and twist at the same time some of these won't even open up on a mechanic so like this doesn't even want to open up on me so i'm gonna have to check later but open this i need both hands i need to probably put a screwdriver to lift this guy up and turn it at the same time and that's how that's gonna open up so this guy bought some aftermarket stuff so doesn't really want to open anyway open this top this off some of them doesn't have this uh, like Hondas and Toyotas, if you look at a different vehicle, you got to check into the radiator. Anyways, after that, what you want to do is you want to warm this car up. Okay, take it for start it up. Let it get to the idle speed. Let the engine temperature go up. And uh, by engine temperature up, what I mean is let's go inside this vehicle. What you want to do here is. You want to let this engine idle and this temperature heat needle here has to be halfway, okay? Go around the block a few times and that way the pump can circulate your antifreeze and uh, and push it into the system. Okay, so th that's all we're checking for now. And now I want to show you a few more things. Uh, we're going to check, uh, first of all, your blow motor got to be blowing air. Okay, you see how I turned the blow motor on? And right now it's blowing cold there, okay? And uh, this guy has a dual system, dual climate control. He he's able to uh, he's able to uh, change the temperature on the passenger side and driver side. So there's two actuators which are called blendo motors, uh, one on each side. I'm gonna show you guys uh, those two and uh, make sure you check them. That's very critical. So all you do is turn this to cold or hot, okay? and um cold it will turn the door to open the uh, ac and this is the mo major reason why these guys uh fail the heat fails so sometimes you won't have heat on this side or you won't have ac on this side because that motor the blender actuator turned off on you in the winter summer came around and never opened the door for uh uh, AC to come inside same thing on the opposite so it could fail on each side But if you don't have dual you'll just have one then there's only one motor that's controlling both sides So um, we're gonna check the operation of both of these. So let me just go down there and take a look So we're on the driver's side So the driver's side blender actuator motor is like located right behind this panel like a little bit further inside So that's connected to this little guy so it's hard to see down there. I don't want to remove everything. Let's see. Okay, that doesn't help us. 
So I'm not gonna remove any of the covers. So to take out these covers, you would have to take off this clip and this cover should come out and it might not be that easy. And this thing slips out of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with this first knob here. I'm gonna turn it into hot, cold, hot, cold. You'll hear a noise and you might see something move. So blender actuator is sitting. Okay, it's gonna be hard for the camera to see. Very difficult for even to the camera to see. But it's right there. Okay, and you can hear it. Did you hear that noise? Okay, so it's moving, it's working. We're gonna leave that alone. Now let's go to the opposite side, which is the passenger side. Okay, on the passenger side, behind the glove box, it's right there and we're able to turn this knob and you can hear it. So that thing is right down there. So it shouldn't be that difficult for you to locate. And I'm trying to hold the glove box. So there you go, that's the blender right there. So um, what you need to do is, you see this? I'm gonna push this glove box back and this is how easy it is to access this glove box. So first of all, you have to take this plunger out. You see how I'm gonna put this in? You just yank on it and it comes out this little guy and i'm gonna put it back in right now and there you have it it didn't go all the way in i'll get it in there i'll get it in there but you squeeze this and this side to take down this glove box you just got too much stuff in it so you're not gonna mess with that none of that anyways that's how simple it is it is easy to check both of your blender motor they should move you should be able to hear them put your hand on them Sometimes I, they fail, you could take them apart and clean them and lubricate them inside because over time the greasing dries up and that will cause it to not to turn anymore because the contact inside is like a circuit board. If the contacts don't touch the circuit, it's not gonna communicate, it's not gonna understand where it's standing at. Anyways, a little bit more under the hood. One thing I wanna mention to everyone is never ever ever open this expansion tank while it's under pressure, okay? Let the car cool off for two, three hours, okay? So the main reason why your heat won't work is, one of the reasons is you don't have enough antifreeze. Second reason is your blenders don't work. It could be the circuit control, but usually the blender. Blender is a very, very common issue. As you guys can see, look, I got blender motor right here, sitting right here. And uh, that's it. And uh, if none of that stuff works, Highly, highly possibility is your heater core is blocked or your pump is not pushing it. It could be either or, or your thermostat. Those are the things you don't want to uh, go by yet. I have a video on water pump and thermostat on this video, or on this car, I mean, and uh, it's not easy stuff, okay? So check your basics, okay, guys? That's all I can tell you is check your basic stuff. If you don't check your basic stuff, what's going to happen is your mechanic is going to check it. He's probably going to top off your antifreeze. And guess what? You have a $400 bill. Or he's probably going to change your blend low motor. Or a uh, simple thing. You never know. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next video. And uh, stay nice and warm.